note of PEF President Susan Kent, who was so terrific today in articulating why we're here, why all of you are here, NYSCOPA President Don Rowe, who we work so closely with, to the American Federation of Teachers President Randy Weingartner, to Civil Service Employees Association President Danny Donahue. Thank you, Danny, for all that you do for everyone. For the, thank you. To the New York State AFL-CIO President Maria Salento, who made your case so articulately last week in our Labor Committee. Thank you for all you do. For the Executive President of the New York State United Teachers, Andrew Pilati, Uni University, United University Professions President Fred Cowell. To the men and women who make New York work, who keep New York safe, who keep New York healthy, who teach our children, who keep New Yorkers reaching their fullest potential. To all of you, thank you for all that you do. Thank you. I am so proud to be here. I'm proud to, to be supportive, to use my voice, and to help save our services. At a time of projected budget surpluses, it is wrong irresponsible and short-sighted of our governor to target needed facilities and necessary jobs. I strongly oppose the attempt to close Mount McGregor Correctional Facility and to cut the Im important local jobs in our community. You know, I toured the facility in September and I met with the workers. They're 100% dedicated to keeping us safe. During my tour, I was outraged to learn that millions of dollars were being spent on renovations, renovations performed by a New Jersey contractors for a facility, yeah, that was my sentiments exactly, for a facility targeted by our executive to close. This is exactly the sort of misplaced priority, mismanaged projects and waste of taxpayer dollars that must end. I introduced legislation that Jim was talking about earlier to submit that any prison closure should be notified a year in advance to the legislature to ratify or amend. Stop taking the responsibility that the legislature has away from us. You know, since 2011, 15 correctional facilities have been targeted for closure. We need to stop the war against public safety. To our public safety professionals who do a great job in some of the toughest, most challenging, most dangerous conditions imaginable. To our healthcare professionals who do an excellent job in treating individuals and mental health illness with care and compassion. To our teachers who help educate and shape our best and our brightest to our direct support professionals who do a tremendous job helping New Yorkers have lives of dignity and fulfillment. You are not forgotten. Last year, we forgot against, we fought against governors devastating cuts, as you've heard, for people of, of disabilities, as well as his attempt to close correctional facilities, mental health facilities. We continue opposing the governor's attempts to close facilities and cut more jobs. When you speak, when we all speak loudly, we hope that the governor is listening. So don't stop fighting, don't stop advocating, don't stop making your voices heard. On behalf of the million New Yorkers who count on you and want to save these services, I say thank you for your hard work, professionalism, and dedication. Let's continue standing strong together and save our services. Thank you.